Now, sports from the First National Bank Sports Desk. First National Bank of North Platte. The bank to think of first. Seasons winding down and seasons in the early stages today for our Thursday update. We start with the Girls State Tennis Tournament, the championships in Lincoln for Class B schools, Gehring, Scotts Bluff, and Alliance all attending there. A solid opening day for some of those players. Gehring, Zoe Smith won her first two matches at number one singles. That ensures a day two appearance for the top player for the Lady Bulldogs. Bobby Claflin also a first round winner for Gehring. Scotts Bluff got two through to the second round, one in singles and one in doubles. Bewley, a singles win and then drop the second match to end her championships. Full day one results are posted at KNEB.com. More state championships on the way tomorrow and Saturday. Track and field state meet at Burke Stadium in Omaha. The WNCC softball team had their season come to a close last night over at Volunteer Field. The Cougars dropped their best of three district final series to Butler Community College and they fall two wins short of a national tournament to parents. Butler got a run in the seventh to win game one, five to four. And then in the nightcap, the Cougars took the lead as the away team in the first inning, but Butler came right back at him with four runs in the bottom of the first and never trailed from that point forward. Eight, five, the final as the Cougars wrap up their season at 35 and 20. And of course, winners of the region nine tournament. That was last weekend. Butler now 42 and six, and they're off to St. George, Utah. And we've got Diamond Action ourselves tonight here on KNEB.TV with the West Coast Zephyrs hosting the Alliance Spartans. The Z's coming off a big win over Douglas, Wyoming on Tuesday. We did a really good job at the plate. We were really consistent at the plate. Um, you know, scoring every single inning, that's, that's what you're looking for as far as being able to get guys on, move them over. And we did a great job uh, with runners in scoring position uh, coming up with some quality at bats there. Zephyrs enter at 2-2 two and two on the year, and Coach offers up some thoughts on what he's seen early so far in the schedule. I think some of us have been uh, a little surprised with the, some of the power that we have, and that's been really good to see the guys have put in the work in the offseason. Um, and right now, I mean, obviously four games in, there's still a ton of work. We're not anywhere close to a finished product or what we, uh, we think we can be. It, but uh, we're really excited about this group. There's a lot of guys who really enjoy being at the ballpark, they enjoy being around each other, and it's fun to coach. As for Alliance, off a banner season a year ago, they went 38-6, and six, and that included a trip to the Class B State Tournament. The juniors game will start tonight first at around 545, and the seniors game they're hoping for first pitch at about 8 o'clock. Coverage tonight, KNEV.TV right here, and that includes Channel 15 on Allo Communications and Mobius Channel 1500. That's the latest today from the First National Bank Sports Desk. I'm Chris Cottrell.